guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, it's been several months. Um, I believe the Worldwide Dallas Celebration is the last support memory um, that we were actually even able to use or get, right? Well, now, uh, we have a brand new one down here. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this one, and we'll, we'll use this in-game and see how effective it can be. So this right here, this is Save Gohan. Uh, when HP is 58% or below starting from the fourth turn, uh, super class allies get 10% attack and defense, and then you recover 10% HP if there is a savior category ally on the team. Now, um, I do kind of like this. I think this is decent. Um, if you guys remember, I felt like I've gotten a lot of use out of this one right here, the Bond of Sister and Brother uh, Android 17 and 18 support memory. I feel like kind of like a mid-battle heal like that is pretty good. Um, I, I think you could definitely get very effective use out of this um, in a red zone stage. Seriously. Because it this act... Um, another really good support memory I've used a lot. This is probably one of the ones I've used the most is the Bulma one. Curious Destiny, which gives you this big HP regen. But it procs no matter what on the fourth turn, right? So it's like you... A lot of times you can use this and you'll heal without even needing it. But this one is going to proc when you need it. Now, 10% HP is not the most ever, but that is still helpful. And, like, if we're going to use maybe, like, uh, Yajirobe and Dokkan Fest Yamcha's team, it can combo up and, and help us out, I think, quite a bit. So let's jump into a red zone stage, um, and we will try and use this save Gohan support memory right here. We'll see if we can get this to activate. This is certainly not the craziest one ever. I mean... When it comes to support memories, you're not going to be able to beat the ones, I think, that give you the permanent buffs. Um, you know, we, we have several right now, right? Just going back over. The Coolers, Cold Remark, um, Kakarot, uh, the uh, Zeno's Welcome Words, right? Farewell, Goku. Uh, like, And then, of course, the two uh, Namek Saga ones, Power Level 530,000 and Warrior Awaken Through Fury. Those are, like, the strongest support. Uh, and Goku gets married as well. Those are the strongest support memories, right? They give you permanent buffs. Um, but, like, there, you know, you could use other stuff that could be useful, like the Save Gohan one. You know, right now there's some support memory that gives a permanent buff to, like, Earthlings or something like that, which you might be running a lot of on Yamcha's team. So, all right, let's jump in, um, and we'll, we'll see if we can get this to proc. I mean, we do have to actually take damage in order to use this, so we'll try and keep that in mind with the team we build. All right, let's jump in just like this. Um, I guess there's a chance that we, you know, could, uh, struggle to potentially get the support memory to proc, but we'll see. Um, because again, we do have to fall below 58% HP. It really shouldn't be too tough in some of these super strong red zone stages, but again, we'll, we'll see how this is gonna kinda go. Um, now, I do really like the support memory system. I think it's pretty fun. Um, you know, getting a lot of these different animations in the game, I think, is important, right? Like, that's something that, that's pretty cool. Because a lot of these, you know, when we wouldn't really get an opportunity to potentially see a bunch of these, right? Like, so, like, this animation, maybe if there would be, like, some sort of, like, Gohan that exchanges into Krillin. Oh, nice! Dodging a super attack. Lovely. I mean, we have to take damage for the support memory, but beautiful! We love dodging support, uh, super attacks in these videos, man. Do you guys know why? <laughs> All right, so we got to hope... Uh, where's Fraud Super Saiyan 2 Goku? He's going to be the one that's going to get cooked and will knock us below 58% HP. I made sure to bring him as subpar as he is. Uh, I did not stutter there. Uh, he'll be able to get the job done for us, for sure. To take Oh, well, he is sealed, so we're, we're not going to get cooked right here. Uh, lovely. All right, let's see how Super Saiyan 2 Goku hangs up. I mean, I don't want to be too harsh on him because he Super Saiyan 2 slash 3 Goku, he is not a 2022 character. So, I, honestly, I, I would say I give him credit in the fact that he is hanging in there um, in the 2022 meta. And, I mean, yeah, technically he is a 2021 character. I mean, you could point out that he came out like three days before it was 2022, but that's not important. Man. He's still, you know, it, you pull up the list. He's a 2021 character, and he's still, uh, like, a, a useful option, this guy, right? Like, he's not dog shit. Um, but against uh, STR Sin, he is going to get cooked. So let's hope maybe we can get, like, two normal attacks on him. Um, and then uh, we, we should be good, right? 
But anyway, continue my point. Um, I like what they're doing with support memories. Because uh, it's like, you know, an exchange Gohan into Krillin from this second Broly movie, which is where they could have used this animation. Like, that's probably not happening, right? And there's, there's so many, like, moments in the series that they could just so easily create um, these moments, right? Like, the, these support memories. So, um, I, I think it's a really good system. It's like, especially, you know, you look at some of the anniversaries, like, have had huge W's, right? Like, the third anniversary introduced the transformation mechanic into the game. Obviously incredible. Fourth anniversary introduced active skills, which I think is a huge W. But then, you get to the fifth anniversary. What did the fifth anniversary introduce? Oh, right. Equipment. Equipment, certainly not, um as I would say good and exciting as a lot of the other stuff. And then the sixth anniversary is when support memories actually came in. Um, and support memories, I think, are, are super good, right? Like, um, I, I do actually enjoy them quite a bit. Uh, all right, so we should be able to potentially blow Omega away right here. Perfect. All right, let's see how we do. Um, so we would like, I think Goku here takes like 120K per normal. Um, oh, this is kind of unfortunate. Damn. Okay, Yadrobi heals 10% HP at the end of turn. Um, we'll see. How also, my physical Super Saiyan 2 slash 3 Goku, um, he does have full dodge. So, he could dodge too much here, and we won't be able to take damage. Um, all right, let's see how... Th this could, we could easily just die here. Um, Super Saiyan 2 Goku can't handle this, this Omega Shenron. Um, all right, this is good. Uh, th this should do at least a little bit of damage here. Okay, nice. Now, remember, we have to fall below 58% um, in order for the support memory to proc. Um, so, hopefully, Super Saiyan 2 Goku actually does get hit right here. Uh, it's going to be pretty good because we're going to get buffs, uh, like a healing buff from both Yajirobe and also the support memory. Okay, so let's see what uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku does right here. Hopefully, he only super attacks once and then, like, doesn't really dodge. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Damn, we got a second super from him. All right. Th th yeah, there's the hidden potential system additional, right? Like, people always call me stupid and they say, oh, you want to go full additional for him. But, like, he did it anyway, even with his full dodge, right? Oh, okay, with the double super. I Okay, okay. All right, hold on. Let me, uh, let me calm down off of him. With the double super and the Yadrobi support and most of his links active, he held in there strong. Okay, okay. I can't, I can't, I can't hate. I can't hate. Um, okay, now this is a problem, though. <laughs> we... I, I do need to take damage here. Hmm. Uh, okay. Bro, please. Let's not give Kid Goku a million here. I, ah, God damn it. Now, now we're at the tricky spot where it's like, if Sin connects on anyone here, we're probably dead. But, like, he can't really do damage with normals. Okay. I might have to cut here and we go into a different event. Well, you know what I could do? We, I could I could just try burst mode again. Um, it's it's falling below 58% HP. Okay. Because the thing is, the savior category team, the, the savior category character I brought here is actually Yajirobe. None of the other characters we have on the team are on saviors, right? Yeah, no. It's Yajirobe is the one savior character we're rocking. And his healing and support, like Yajirobe just buffs the team so much. Right, like his support, keep in mind, is active like on every turn. Right, like Yadrobi gets that first turn where he's in slot three. Um, and then from the rest of the fight, as long as he's in slot three, the support is activated. Um, so Yamcha, the Yamchas were cooking right here. Ah, oh, damn, dude. That physical Super Saiyan 2 Goku, no, you were supposed to take damage there, man. If this connects, we're probably dead. I don't know. Yeah, he dodged it though. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, did we have the intro buff active? Maybe we wouldn't have died. All right, let's do this. This, um... We're, I, mean, I mean, I'm really playing with fire here. We should live. As long as there's not a super attack right away that connects, we should live here. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Now that... I'm not really gonna be like, Oh my god, he's such a fraud. Because he's not a slow one character, right? So it's like, yeah, okay. Damn, if only there was one attack right there. Should I hop back in and try it again? I guess. 
Um, because th that's what I could do. I can maybe hope that there's like one attack by Sin at the start right there. Maybe I should bring a weaker team. We'll, we'll come right back once we actually proc the support memory. Um, I could always go into like wicked bloodline red zone fights, or again, I could try burst mode as well. I know it seems ridiculous, but it's not that easy to be like, all right, let's just, you know, deep into the fight, specifically fall below this HP threshold. Because you guys know a lot of the red zone bosses, they, they just, you know, 100% to 0% you with their super attacks. There we go. That's the Super Saiyan 2 Goku I know. <laughs> okay. Perfect. All right, now as long as Yamcha doesn't fold right here, we are good to go. All right, let's pop this support memory. Yamcha's not folding for us. No way. Um, nah. I'm pretty sure Sin is about the super attack right here. I will. The frustration level. No super. Beautiful. All right, Gohan and Krillin. Here we go. So the support memory is going to go ahead and proc for us. We saw our HP go up a little bit at the start of the turn right there. So here is the animation. Let's go ahead and see this. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Piccolo-san! Yes! Nah, it's Krillin! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I do love that that version of Krillin is a character we can get to. That is great. Okay, so now that we popped that... Um, so we recover 10% HP, and then now we have, um, 10% attack and defense for this turn. I guess the fact that it's only lasting this turn is certainly not the craziest ever, right? Um, I guess, why don't we just go ahead and bust out these active skills for Yamcha and Kid Goku? We can go ahead and put up some decent damage, right? And again, we have the extra buffs, uh, from the support memory active. Yamcha at 530k defense, sure, sure, sure. There we go. Beautiful damage. Okay. Okay. Um, what do we want to do here? Do we want to let Yamcha do a little cooking or do we want to let Kid Goku rock? Let, 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 let's let, let's let Go Yamcha go to work right here. Kid Goku, of course, giving the damage reduction support as well as crits. Look at Kid Goku, dude. 674 with all of his damage reduction. Oh my god! Kid Goku, calm down! Are you good enough, Kid Goku? Jesus. Look at these, these newer characters. This is why it's like, yeah, like, I do see a lot of people, that physical Super Saiyan 2 Goku, man. People talk about him like, oh my god, he's so good. It's like a person like Yamcha and like Kid Goku, man. These are the real, these are the real hitters right here. These guys. There we go. Dodging everything. You cannot touch us. Stop. You're adorable. Oh, 10 million. Huh? 10 million. He's about to fire off three of these. I love, yeah, I, lo I love these characters. Goodbye, Sin. Yeah, burn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could revive here? Yeah, sure, whatever. Why don't we... What, let's just... Oh, my God. I can, it's so uncommon that I've been able to get this Super Saiyan 3 transformation lately. Whatever, man. We're, we're having fun. We got the support memory. Let's just, let's just fire it all off. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he could probably cook here and do a lot of damage, huh? 
Let, let, yeah, let, let's see if Super Saiyan 3 Goku wants to go real crazy right here for us. Because, um, you know, he links up fairly well with Carnival Goku. And then, remember, we have uh, Goat Jirobi support active right here. So, um, with Yad Jirobi support cooking, Physical Super Saiyan 3, he could go crazy right here. Um, Alright, let's see what he gets for us. Uh, 95k is not really good. 7.89. Okay, he could do, what, four of these? Alright, go ahead. Show us. Show us, man. Okay. Okay, normal, I always get that, damn it. He did crit, nice. He did crit again, but it's another normal. Ah, uh, yeah. I, you know, I, I have, I guess, I guess for me, what it is, I have the defensive luck, right? The, all the dodge characters and stuff like that work great for me, but these, you know, Vegito Blue and Physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku and stuff like that, those, like, offensive sort of, like, are, like, it's literally the same thing. Like, Physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku... People talking about him super attacking three or four times, that's the same thing as like, okay, well, UI Goku dodge, right? Like, it's like, there's RNG for these characters and how they're going to perform. Um, so Yajirobe would die if he gets hit right here. We will revive, but let's see. My Yajirobe has got a lot, full dodge as well, so he could dodge everything right here. Okay, there's the first hit, which we lived. Oh, okay, good. So now we just go in, uh, awesome. Now we go into this turn at one HP instead. <laughs> okay, sure, sure, sure. Uh, can we live here? I mean, Yamcha is a, a dodge character, so we we surely can. Oh no, 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 no! I'm 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 just one of those uh, big silly gooses. We're actually just gonna outright kill him. He's not even gonna get a chance to super attack. Okay, okay, okay. Funny, 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 funny. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of the save Gohan support memory. I mean, it's definitely not the craziest of all time, but I do think that this is something you can utilize to good effect, right? For sure. Um, you know, we bring this, um, and we're able to get, you know, the, the huge stats buff. Uh, well, I, not huge, but it, huge is probably not the, the correct term here, but active skill buffs are bigger than people realize, right? Like, like he's definitely getting much more of a buff, like, like these characters are from support memories than a lot of people like realize. So the fact that it could, you know, sort of trigger mid battle where you really would want it to activate is pretty useful um and then of course heals mid battle heals are always good as well um y you're never gonna go wrong with actually one normal and i think we're dead yeah we actually lost okay well yajirobi was too good last turn defensively i guess i should have put carnival goku in slot one it's fine it's fine it's fine uh the sa the save gohan support memory anyway that is the whole point here um I think you could, you know, utilize this in some fights, and, and it might be kind of helpful. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.